Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker. Today my goal is to give you a very quick introduction of getting started to our Unity plugin. To do so, I have my tracker here. I just took one tracker. The goal is to really get as fast as possible and as easy as possible. Uh, I made sure also that I am connected to VR Tracker Gateway Wi-Fi. And I checked that everything is fine in the dashboard, so you can see that my tracker is connected. That's all right, you don't need to do that every time, but just to make sure it can help you just find out what the problem is, you know. So I downloaded the plugin from, uh, from Notion, from the Notion link. You can see it in the video below. I'll give it to you. It is also on the, on the website. You can find links to that. Okay, so I created it's a it's a like Unity empty project, new project with the sample scene right there, and I'm going to import the plugin. I import everything. Okay, so there we go. Now I have my VR tracker folder, and you can see that under we have plenty of folders: the boundary, the manager, network pairing. Well, we go through all of them in different videos. Right now, I want to get you started very quickly. So what we're gonna do is just add a 3D object, a simple cube, to my scene. And to that cube, I want to assign that tracker position and orientation. So I'm going to add a VRT follow tag script. And as you see here, all the position and orientation are checked. So it's going to follow all, all of those. And the tag type, I'm going to change it to, let's say, for example, left controller. The thing to remember here is that in the next, uh, just after, we're going to do what is called the pairing. And what we want is that each tracker will have a different tag type. So we're going to choose left controller, right controller, head, gun, anything you want. You can create new in the script. But the thing is that the VRT follow tag is going just to follow the position of that tracker. So you can assign a VRT follow tag for the same tracker to different game objects to have multiple game objects follow the same tracker. So I'm just going to save that scene and now we're gonna go through the pairing. So go in the pairing folder, you have the VRT pairing example that is going to show you exactly how to pair the system. And what is important to do is to put that scene always first in your build settings and then have the sample scene uh, or the next scene where you're going to use tracking in second. So there is the pairing example scene. Uh, you can see that the most important part here is the VR tracker part and the pairing part. In the pairing part you can choose if you want to have some automatic pairing or not. Uh, we'll see about automatic pairing in a minute just after we try this. Second part is the VR Tracker game object. It contains the manager, the WebSocket client, the UDP client, and this is the part that is going to connect to the gateway to retrieve the data from the trackers and then send it to the right game objects. So what you have to do under VR Tracker is that you can add as many game objects as a tracker you want to follow. So for example, here I just want to follow one tracker so I create a game object that is called tag left controller and I've put a VRT tag uh, add script to that tracker. So I could use any other VRT tag script, for example, VRT tag, VRT tag gun, VRT tag add. Um, those scripts are, um, are a bit different each from each other uh, because they have some different settings uh, to be faster than other or better for the add. Uh, so you can choose different ones, uh, you can try them, but it is important to have just so that one game object for each tracker and each with its own, with each, its own VRT tag uh, script. And on the script, the last thing that you want to check is to make sure that the tag type is set to the one you want. So for example, here I've set a left controller. It is also a left controller on our sample scene on the cube. So that's perfect because the, the the cube, the script on the cube is going to look for the left controller under VR tracker game object. So it's going to look for that one and it's going to retrieve the data. So the follow tag looks for the tracker under VR tracker game object. So we good. We can start the sample scene. My tracker is on. And 
pair your tag, hit the button to start pairing, assign left controller, press the red button, so this is the red button just right there. Alright, and the tracker is assigned, it switched automatically to the next scene because we had set it in the build settings as the scene that is just after the pairing scene. So there we go, you can see that on the sample scene I have my cube, I received the data and on the done destroy and load I have the VR tracker that followed along from the first pairing scene to that scene. So I still have the VR tracker game object and it's important to have it in the, in the last scene, so but it is a done destroy and load so you don't have anything to do there so just the last thing about automatic pairing we had set it on there it is automatic pairing so if i press play again let's check what happens it automatically switched to the next scene because what it what it did is that it's connected to the gateway it asked it do you have that tracker connected because i saved the tracker in a json file Okay, it is connected, so I can switch directly to the next scene, and that is way easier when you use it. You just have to assign it once, and then it is saved, and you're done, and you can use it. So, as you can see here, there is no position assigned, simply because I'm outside and I have no camera installed, but it will uh, also follow the position. So, I hope you like this little get it, getting started uh, tutorial. Then we will uh, go through the networking, the boundaries, the, the uh, not the pairing, the, but different other uh, things uh, in the plugin that you can do. So, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that introduction.